This is BizWorld. Good evening. Bank Nagara has raised the overnight policy rate OPR by 25 basis points to 3% at its Monetary Policy Committee MPC meeting today. The ceiling and floor rates of the corridor of the OPR are correspondingly increased to 3.25% and 2.75% respectively. In its monetary policy statement, the central bank said that with the domestic growth prospects remaining resilient, it is timely to further normalize the degree of monetary accommodation. With this decision, the MPC has withdrawn the monetary stimulus intended to address the COVID-19 crisis in promoting economic recovery. In light of the continued strength of the domestic economy, the MPC also recognizes the need to ensure the stance of monetary policy is appropriate to prevent the risk of future financial imbalances. At the current level, the monetary policy stance is slightly accommodative and remains supportive of the economy. MIDF research expects the stronger demand from China to help support regional trade and production activities for Malaysia's Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, going forward. The firm noted the, contra the contractionary trend in April involved electrical and electronics and tech-focused manufacturing. This signals the slowing external demand on the back of sluggish global demand due to the still limited impact from China's economic recovery. SNP Global on Tuesday said the latest data on the Malaysian manufacturing sector showed mixed trends, with overall demand conditions remaining subdued despite improvement in exports. The seasonally adjusted Malaysia manufacturing PMI was unchanged at 48.8 in April, signalling that business conditions remained challenging for firms. Kananga Research has maintained a neutral stance on the plantation sector, although the production of fresh fruit bunches, FFB, from January to March generated the strongest first quarter since 2019. It said the rating was kept since there was no strong driver for growth. The low price to book value ratio ratings at the moment showed that a lot of bad news had already been priced. As for fruit production, plantation groups and the Malaysia Palm Oil Board have reported that the early 2023 fruit production will be recovering ahead. Kananga Research also predicted that cost increment will be stabilizing as the price for fertilizer, the third highest cost component in CPO production, has dropped sharply since January. Hong Leong Investment Bank research remains upbeat on Tanaga National Berhad, TNB's outlook for this year. According to the research house, the recent drop in global fuel prices bodes well for TNB's cash flow due to the lower working capital requirements. The firm also expects TNB to report a stronger first quarter performance ended March 31st, compared with the fourth quarter last year, mainly due to improved balance sheet and cash flow position. HLIB also expects investors to regain confidence in TNB post first quarter results announcement. Associations have called on the government to revert Malaysia My Second Home MM2H initiative to the Tourism, Arts and Culture Ministry, MOTEC, to resolve the various issues surrounding the program. International Real Estate Federation Malaysia President Dato Firdaus Musa said due to the revised conditions and changes in MM2H rules, over 90% of high net worth individuals have shunned Malaysia as their second home option. He also stressed returning the program to MOTEC does not mean the country's security will be compromised. Instead, a lot of issues can be settled. In the long run, the influx of high net worth individuals into Malaysia will help to raise government revenue, especially in terms of tax collection. The drop in the number of MM2H applicants was driven by some of the conditions revised in 2021. Among others, some of the conditions require applicants to have a fixed deposit account of at least 1 million ringgit from 300,000 ringgit previously. 
That's it for Biz World. I'm Raymond Goh. Thank you for investing your time with us and make sure you stay tuned to TVTGA.